Father, we thank you for your presence. We give you all the glory. We honor you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done for us. We love you with all our hearts. We ask, oh God, that you do a new thing in our lives. Show us your glory, Lord. We give you praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. You're welcome to our second service. I believe that you'll be blessed tremendously in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, we just want to thank God for all he continues to do. Uh, we thank God for the Young Pastors Conference yesterday. It was such a huge success. And to God alone be all the glory. Amen. And uh, today is also our special Thanksgiving service. And so I want to encourage you that throughout the service, uh, we can give your Thanksgiving service, uh, offering at any time in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Are you ready for the word? Uh, please turn with me in your Bibles to Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. The book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. I read from the New King James Version. It says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And we are blessed by the reading of God's word. I'm concluding my series that I have titled The Creative Force of Faith. The Creative Force of Faith. And this is part four. The Creative Force of Faith. And this is part four. God is a spirit. And therefore, anything that comes out of God, first and foremost, comes in a spirit form. Jesus said in John chapter 4, verse 24, Jesus said, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship this God in spirit and in truth. So God is a spirit, and everything that comes out of God, first and foremost, comes in a spirit form. John chapter 6 verse 63 Jesus said the words that I speak unto you they are spirit and they are life the words that I speak to you they are spirit and they are life so everything that comes out from God first and foremost comes in a spirit form so 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13, it says, We, having the same spirit of faith, 2 Corinthians 4, 13, We, having the same spirit of faith, you see, is a spirit of faith. And since we have the same spirit of faith, according to, to what is written, I believe, therefore have I spoken. We also believe, therefore we speak. So faith is a spirit. Faith is a spirit. And for faith to work in your heart and in your mouth, you have to understand how faith functions. Faith is a spirit. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 to 3. The Bible says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, by what? By faith, the elders obtained a good testimony. That means through faith, you can change every 
negative testimony to a good testimony. By faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made out of the things which are visible. So, faith is a spirit. It's an invincible force that operates in the lives of those who believe. So, if your faith, you are going to operate in the creative force of faith, you have to understand how God himself worked with faith, how God himself operated by faith. So Genesis chapter 1 verse 3, the Bible says that in the beginning of beginnings, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, God created created the heavens and the earth. What did God create the heavens and the earth with? With the word of faith. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3. It says through faith or by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So that means if you want a glorious future it is your responsibility to use the word of faith to frame it. If you want a life full of vitality and health, you have to use your faith to frame it. You must learn to say to yourself, I shall not die but live to declare the glory of God. I shall not die but live to declare the glory of God. I am the head and not the tail. I am above only, never beneath. What are you doing? You are creating with the word of faith. Romans chapter 4 verse 17. The Bible says that as it is written, I have made you, Abraham, a father of many nations. How was he made a father of nations? Many nations. He had no child. Yet God called him as a father of many nations. Why? Because God calls those things which does not exist as though they did exist. That's how faith operates. Faith calls things that are not there as if they are there. Faith calls those things that do not exist as if they exist. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations in the presence of him who called you. In the presence of him who called you. God has called you in the presence of many. And because of that, you have to believe. And when you believe, God calls those things which be not as though they were. And not only that, he gives life to the dead. He gives life. You see, when you're operating in faith, you cannot have anything dead around you. I remember many years ago, uh, when I proposed to my wife, to, uh, I told her, I would like to marry you. She said to me, I might not be able to give you a child because I don't have one over it has been removed right there in that restaurant many years ago in London Bridge uh, no Tower Bridge Cafe Rouge I laid my hands on that side of her, her, her tummy and said in the name of Jesus that that um, uh, ovary is restored simple faith in that restaurant I called for those things which did not exist as if it existed 13 years later 13 years later they did a scan and they said to her both of your ovaries are there even though one was removed throughout the birth of all our children she only had one ovary why? because God doesn't need your ovary to give you a baby God doesn't need your womb to give you a baby. You can call for those things which be not as though they were. Listen, if you want a great future, you have to speak it into existence. 
if you want a great future, you have to speak it into existence. Mark chapter 11 from verse 23 to 24. Jesus said, For verily I say unto you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things which he says will be done, he will have whatsoever he says. He will have whatever he says. Jesus says, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you ask when you pray, believe that you have received them, and you will have them. Very important. If you want a great future, you have to speak it into existence. Start creating your future. Four years ago, I said a time is coming, we'll have five services. A few years ago, I started declaring millions, millions will be will be reaching millions will be reaching millions just within this lockdown within three months by the grace of god just on youtube alone we have reached nearly one million people and i believe that before the end of this month we would have crossed over reach over one million people who have watched life from across the world watch life and later over one million people you have to learn to create the future you want through faith. Jesus said, therefore I say to you, what things soever, whatever things you desire, what things soever you desire, you have to have the desire. When you ask, you pray it, you believe that you receive them and you will have them. Do you have some good desires? Jesus said, whatever things you desire, what are your desires? Desire something good from God today. Desire something glorious. Desire something awesome. Desire that you walk in perfect health. Desire that you have a sound mind. Desire that divorce will not come near your family. Desire good things and speak it into existence and you'll have it. Listen, when it comes to faith, as long as your mouth is shut, your destiny cannot be opened. Psalm 81 verse 10 to 11. When it comes to faith, as long as your mouth is shut, your destiny cannot be opened. Psalm 81 verse 10 and 11. The Bible says, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Therefore, open your mouth wide and I will fill it. God says, open your mouth wide and I will fill it. When God says, open your mouth wide and I'll fill it, what God is basically saying is that release your faith. Believe me for big things. I am not apologetic in asking God for the nations. Psalm 2 verse 8, God said, ask of me the nations and I will give the heathen to you for your inheritance. Ask of me the nations. Ask of me for souls and I'll give them to you. I'm believing a time is coming very soon. In one gathering, there will be 5 to 10 million people gathered on a Sunday. That's what I'm believing God for. What are you believing God for? I'm believing God that the glory of God will emanate from this commission to the rest of the world. In people's homes, healings will be taking place. When the message is going on, the power of God will be present to heal everyone. Needs will be met. Sound mind will be released. That's what I believe. I believe that a time is coming in my lifetime. 
every household in every household across the world there will be a member of solution chapel international there will be a member of solution chapel international in every household across the world that's my belief why because god says open your mouth wide and i will feel it it is your responsibility to open your mouth and it's god's responsibility to feel it open your mouth wide believe god for big things declare to you yourself i am a billionaire before the end of this year before the end of 2020 i walk in billions i walk in high places i am an advisor to presidents and prime ministers i am an advisor to kings and queens in the name of jesus why because god says open your mouth wide and i jehovah i will feel it verse 11 of psalm 81 he said but my people will not heed my voice and israel have none of me you see every time you disobey god don't think you know better than god god says open your mouth wide and he will feel it i believe god very soon in all our services one million will be watching one million in first service live on youtube live on facebook live on any platform we are one million on each platform very soon we'll have one million in every service glory be to god i believe god that before the end of this year before the end of this year i prophesy it so before the end of this year there will be minimum one million live viewers on all our platforms in the name of jesus how does that happen open your mouth wide and god will feel it you say pastor how is that going to be possible well like mary i don't know but one thing i know is that be it unto me according to your word so learn to believe god for big things as long as your mouth is shut in the kingdom of god your destiny cannot be open listen right is that you can determine the outcome of a known event before it happens huh. that's how powerful you are you can determine the outcome of a known event before it happens you can determine the outcome of events in your life it doesn't matter where you find yourself today you might be stuck in life but you can determine it how do you do that by opening your mouth wide and god will feel it genesis 22 verse 2 and 5 genesis chapter 22 verse 2 and 5 the bible says and he said take now your son your only son isaac this is god speaking to abraham god said to him take now your son your only son isaac whom you love and go to the land of moriah and there offer him as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which i shall tell you so listen carefully what god is saying here god have told abraham take your son go and kill him for me but look at what happened the bible says so abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his donkey i love abraham you see you cannot be great in the kingdom of god when you delay god's instructions a man or a woman of faith must be somebody who obeys god's word promptly god said to abraham take your son your only son go kill him the next day the bible says that abraham rose up early in the morning saddled his donkey and took two of his young men with him and isaac his son and he split the wood for the burnt offering and arose and went to the place of which god had told him then on the third day abraham lifted up his eyes and looked and saw the place afar off verse 5 is key the bible says that and abraham said to his young men stay here with the donkey 
the Lord, Isaac and I will go yonder and worship and we will come back to you. Now, what did God tell him in verse 2? God said to him, go and kill your son Isaac. But in verse 5, Abraham said, we are going to worship the Lord and come back. See how he changed the circumstances of the events? God initially wanted Isaac sacrificed. But Abraham said to his servant, listen, I know what God has told me, but I'm not going to reveal the full counsel of God to you. But guess what? Myself and Isaac, in verse 5, are going to worship. We are going to worship God, and we will come back to you. Now, Abraham knew in his heart of hearts, God wanted Isaac offered as a sacrifice. But Abraham said, no, no, no. I am going to change this event of my life. You see, the sad thing about many Christians is they accept whatever happens to them as, as it is. That oh, It's okay. It's supposed to be so, so I accept it. No, you don't permit what is not of God in your life. I remember a few years ago when our son was at the verge of death, I said, devil not here i started thanking god i said father i thank you he was at the verge of dying but i changed the situation around and i thank god for his life and today to the glory of god god is doing exploits through his life how does that happen you use faith to change events in your life some of you are bound for disaster. You can change that today. You can change that situation. You can change that event of your life. You can say like Abraham, I and the son, I and the lad, we are going to worship and we'll come back again to you. Matthew chapter 17 from verse 24 to 27. Jesus use the creative force of faith to supernaturally pay his debts and ours. Jesus, Matthew chapter 17, verse 24 to 27. Write this down. Jesus used the creative force of faith to supernaturally pay his and our debts. He paid your debts and my debt for life. Are you following me? So Matthew chapter 17 from verse 24, the Bible says that when they had come to Capernaum, those who received the temple tax came to Peter and said, does your teacher not pay the temple task? Amen. And he said, and when he had come into the house, he said yes. And when he had come into the house, Jesus anticipated him saying, What do you think, Simon? From whom do the kings of the earth take custom or taxes? From their sons or from strangers? Peter said to him, From strangers. Jesus said to him, Then the sons are free. Oh, glory be to God. Some of you are watching right now. The devil has been tasking you spiritually. Spiritually putting a tax on your salary. Spiritually putting a tax on your children. Spiritually putting a tax on on everything you have, your properties, every month you're going from one cycle of struggle to another. But today, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, that cycle, that recurrent cycle, it is broken now in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that Peter said to Jesus, 
taxes are paid from strangers and Jesus said then the sons are free today I declare over you you are free in the name of Jesus I prophesy over you today that you and your family are free you are free from every bondage you are free from every calamity you are free from every curses every generational curses you are now free from it by the blood of Jesus verse 27 Jesus said nevertheless lest we offend them go to the sea cast a hook cast in a hook and take the fish that comes up first and when you have opened its mouth you will find a piece of money take that and give it to them for me and for you Jesus paid your taxes for you before you showed up every demonic taxes that the enemy has placed upon your finances the enemy has placed upon your company the enemy has placed upon everything that you own right now by the blood of jesus every demonic taxes are nullified every demonic taxes are nullified they are null and void in the name of jesus listen jesus did did it so you can also do it jesus commanded fish to pay for his taxes that means you also have the creative ability within you to start calling for things to pay for any debt that you owe therefore in the name of jesus i decree that today every debt ravaging your life is cancelled supernaturally every debt is cancelled supernaturally in the name of jesus if only you can open your mouth wide today god will feel it remember a closed mouth is a closed destiny remember a closed mouth is a closed destiny so don't close your mouth open your mouth and speak it open your mouth and declare it declare it with boldness don't be scared to declare it bishop Oedipo said when they were about to build the 52,000 seat auditorium god said to him in one year it will be done and then when the time was getting close the roofing was not done every money that came was going into that project and then he heard God said to him, I think it was left with about one month to complete the building. And it, it seems as if the, the project is coming to a halt. And then he heard God said to him, one month, too much. One month, too much. He said, God said to him, I created the entire heaven and earth in one day. So what is a 52,000 seat auditorium that I cannot roof within one day so you can also open your mouth wide and begin to declare you see there are some people who who don't like me they envy me they they are jealous they are like who is he why does he talk like that i know the scriptures i know what god has said i am not going to ask for anything less than what god has asked me to ask for he said open your mouth wide and he will feel it so it's your responsibility to open your mouth wide when esther got to the kingdom the king said to esther what do you want esther it shall be given to you to half of the kingdom uh, i'm always asking god for minimum four to five billion souls to be harvested into solution chapel international are we the only church no there are other churches but we all have the same right equal right to ask god what we want so open your mouth wide and god will feel it i said open your mouth wide and god will feel it use your faith 
it's a new day is the dawning of a new day into in from today you release your word of faith god will fulfill it listen god is the one who pays for the bills not you god is taking you to a restaurant of the world he said order it order houses begin to order properties begin begin to order expansion of your business begin to order the, that mansion begin to order new cars begin to order jets private jets begin to order yachts oh some people don't like what i'm saying now but well i am opening my mouth wide and god is feeling it because i believe in my heart and I speak with my mouth, it will become a reality. Amen. There are men and women in this church that are being raised as, as millionaires. Amen. And by the end of this year, there will be minimum 50 millionaires raised up in Solution Chapel. Amen. Not the online members right in this place. And on the online members, minimum a thousand will be raised up as millionaires. Receive it now. Receive it now. I am prophesying to you. Uh, the days of your poverty are over. It takes just one idea to become a millionaire. Your days of poverty are over. We come against the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus. I release the grace for creativity, the grace for the creative faith. From today, you think it, you create it, and it will become a reality in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. If you speak it, you'll get it. That's how God operates. I've taken four weeks to teach you the creative force of faith. Faith has force to create new things. Faith can create new liver. Faith created a new liver, a new liver in my wife's womb. It created a new body part. I don't know who you are. They said they are, you don't have some body parts, but right now, in the name of Jesus, every body part in you that has been removed, right now it is restored. I said, right now it is restored. Lord, your eyes begins to see clearly your brains begins to function perfectly your legs begins to function perfectly new legs new limb new kida new livers new heart in the name of jesus so shall it be finally as we get ready to close you will eat what you say today tomorrow remember Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 Death and life are where? In the power of the tongue And whosoever 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 loveth it Shall eat the fruit thereof Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 6 It said don't say Before an angel It is an arrow Do not let your mouth Cause your flesh to sing Nor say before the messenger of God That it was an arrow why should God not be angry at your excuse and destroy the works of your... So be careful. Don't say wrong things. Men and women of faith don't say the wrong things. We are careful what we say because you'll always eat what you say. Are you following me? you eat what you cook. Every time you open your mouth, you are saying something. Jesus said, for every idle word will be judged. Every word that comes out of your mouth is, is a recipe for creating a greater future for you or a recipe for disaster. You choose. You have the power. So finally, as we close, 2 Kings chapter 7, verse 1 and 2. Verse 1 to, we read from verse 1 to 5. 2 Kings chapter 7, from verse 1 to 5. You know the story? There's been farming for three and a half years. Women are boiling their children. Cannibalism have become a, a, a thing of the day. People are eating human beings. There's been farming, no rain for years. And then 
Elisha, 2 Kings chapter 7, verse 1, the Bible said that, Then Elisha said, Hear the word of the Lord. I'm speaking to you today, solution. I'm speaking to all our online members. I'm speaking to this nation and the nations of the earth. Hear the word of the Lord. Not the word of the scientist, not the word of the economist, but the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, tomorrow about this time. Oh my God. Somebody say amen to that. Amen. Tomorrow about this time. God says, a seer of fine flour shall be sold for a shekel and two shears of barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria. My God. So an officer upon whom whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God and said, Look, if the Lord will open the windows in heaven, could this be? Could this thing be? And he said, In fact, Elisha said to him, In fact, you shall see it with your eyes. But you shall not eat of it. Mm. You shall see it with your eyes. But you shall not eat of it. My God. Now there were four leprous men at the entrance of the gate. And they said one to another, Why are we sitting here until we die? If we, if we enter the city, the famine is there in the city. We shall die there. If we sit here, we shall die also. Now, why are we sitting here? Come, let us surrender to the army of the Syrians. If they keep us alive, we shall live. If they kill us, we shall die. And they rose at twilight to go to the camp of the Syrians. And when they came to the outskirts of the Syrians come, to the surprise, there was no one. My God. There was what? No one. Because the man of God has said, tomorrow about this time. I speak a tomorrow about this time into your life. I prophesy to somebody that tomorrow about this time, your promotion is eminent. Tomorrow about this time, God is giving you houses you did not build. Tomorrow about this time, you'll be the head and not the tail. Now I am creating some new things into your life. Therefore, I decree over you that from henceforth, you have entered into seasons of unending favor. Seasons of unending favor seasons of divine upliftment season of divine laughter seasons of business breakthroughs and expansions seasons of creative inventions seasons of creative inventions in the name of jesus like ezekiel ezekiel declared to the dry bones leave and the dry bones started living. I declare over you, you will not die. You will live to declare the glory of God. I prophesy over you, you will not die. You shall live to declare the glory of God. I prophesy over you, you shall not die. I said you shall live to declare the glory of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, no weapon of the enemy formed or fashioned against you shall prosper. You will be the head and not the tail. From today, God's grace will find you. God's favor will locate you. God will send men and women from across the world to favor your righteous cause. In the mighty name of Jesus, I prophesy expansion into your business. You will expand to the right 
and to the left expansion on every side i declare to you tomorrow about this time you'll have your own house tomorrow about this time you'll sign that multi-million contract tomorrow about this time you'll sign that multi-billion contract tomorrow about this time you are coming out of curses into blessings in the name of jesus tomorrow about this time it's a new day i said it's a new day i said it's a new day it's a new season for you it's your season of upliftment it's your season of glory it's your season of mercy it is your season nothing will cut short your season i said it is your season it is your season of grace it is your season of joy it is your season of healing you will not die through that sickness you are coming out alive you are coming out alive anywhere they've taken your name to to destroy your destiny right now in the name of jesus i reverse that curse right now in the name of jesus i revoke that evil covenant in the mighty name of jesus i declare you healed i declare you whole i declare you the head and not the tail i declare you operating in the glory of god i declare that the creative force of faith is working in your life i declare that your tongue from today becomes coals of fire you declare it and it will become a reality right now anybody sick in any part of your body i declare the glory of god overshadows you healing is your portion healing is the children's bread receive your healing now in the mighty name of jesus i decree it so in the mighty name of jesus the creative force of faith works it's time for us to engage god on a new level believe god for big things don't apologize for believing god for big things i am not apologetic of what god is doing in my life you might not like it but god is doing it god doesn't need to ask your enemy's permission before he will bless you from today you will flourish in the blessing i prophesy it over you the minimum you will be before you die will be a billionaire i said the minimum you become before you die is a billionaire i prophesy it over you i decree it over you and so shall it be in the name of jesus in the name of jesus say with me from henceforth i decree and declare the force of the creative word working in my life in jesus name amen and amen well before we close wherever you are if you have not given your life to jesus the creative force of faith cannot work in your life if you are not born again jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith you can't have a relationship with the author and the finisher of our faith you can you cannot pray it in the spirit in the creative force of faith if you don't have a relationship with the author and finish of our faith so i want to lead you to christ say with me lord jesus i come to you just as i am forgive me of my sins write my name in your book of life may i serve you all the days of my life from today i have decided to follow you no turning back in jesus name amen well if you pray that prayer you are now born again you're a child of god you are new bloodline god is working on your behalf there's a form on our on our on our website solutionchapel.org go to our website www.solutionchapel.org and fill in that form if you've given your life to Jesus 
and we'd like to write back to you. We'd like to send you some special gift to help you to grow and to become great in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, before we close, uh, we are in our 40 days of glory. Remember I said if you just join us, uh, you can give your thanksgiving offering at any time before we close but i just felt that we should pray a bit let's just pray into this word let's just pray let's just pray open your mouth and begin to pray just 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 for a few minutes Let's pray. Just pray. Just pray. Just pray. Bala branda la branda katayabra. Ziba ba 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 shanda ya la breshke banda. Le ma 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 shakata kala branda. Ziba kala bronde le breshke banda ya ba. Le ba 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 shikanta la brando lobro. Zebanda la la ba shendele lebe ne banda ya ba shika kala banda ne mama shaka taya la la bande ne kata kala bo shande azima na la bla let the force of faith. Let the creative force of faith find meaning in your life. Let it find meaning in your life. Let it find meaning in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From today you will speak it and it will become a reality. You will speak it and you will see it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We come against this coronavirus. We wipe it off from the surface of the earth. We decree and declare that no more virus. We overcome every virus. There shall be no more deaths. In the name of Jesus. No one is dying in this commission through coronavirus. We shall go at a good old age. We receive the healing, the healing blood, the healing virtue. In the name of Jesus. Ziba baba shika tana la la bra le branda baba baba shika taya la la ba le manda baba baba shika la branda le manda baba baba shika la branda le baba baba shika le kando onde le ke shando la la bom onde le me le me le me shande le baba baba shika taya la la ba le bando bolo bo shende le le me le banda baba baba shika taya la la ba onde me le me le me shande le le me le baba baba shika don't stop praying don't stop praying just three more minutes three more minutes before we close just pray in the spirit we are activating the force of faith the creative force of faith in your life in your life in your life you will see it and you will see it. You will see it and you will see it. Le krishado ni kiri no le mre ne kata katon de ne brosh kaka katon kade mana mane kate ne ne mre ne brosh kama ya bra ne e katon ne le brosh kaka. A fresh power, a fresh anointing. Re ba 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 shata ya la la ba ne ne ma kata kala brosh ke ba ya ba na ne me ne me ne me shanda ya la la ba ne ba 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 shanda ya la la ba. Le kaba kata kala branda le banda baba ba shande ala la ba ande mere 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 me shanda le baba baba ba shikata ala la ba le baba shando ro ro bro shikata ala la ba don't stop praying don't stop praying don't stop praying believe it believe it believe it raba ba shoke tere bre shanda le banda ya ba shanda le kaka tori bro shike kre ke le bre Zeba mana mashanda, le mana baba shanda, le bazi kataya laba. The heavens are open over you. The heavens are open over you. In the name of Jesus, the heavens of are open. An open heaven, an open heaven, an open heaven. In the name of Jesus, le bra baba bashi katalaba. One more minute, one more minute, one more minute. Yes, push it through, push it through, push it through, push it through, push. Push, 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 push. You are winning. 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 
you are winning 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 win 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 you are a winner you are a winner you are a winner you are a solution to the nation call it forth call it forth call it forth fresh news fresh blessing fresh breakthrough yes a new husband a glorious husband a glorious wife in the name of Jesus your husband is coming this month your wife is coming this month the glory of God will overshadow you yes no more sick sickness no more sadness no more depression we call for those things which be not as though they were call them forth call them forth call them forth in the name of Jesus. Can I ask Pastor Zama to come and just minister a song to close the service? In the name of Jesus. Just minister a song as you are led. Just minister a song. The atmosphere, the presence of God is so strong. I want you to be expectant. Healings will be taking place right there where you are. Healings, miracles, signs, wonders will be taking place right now. Be expectant. Some of you need to touch that TV screen. You need to touch that iPad. You need to touch that desktop. You need to touch that phone. The healing power of God is going to be flowing through you right now in the name of Jesus as she ministers under the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you. We magnify your name. We want to speak to every dry bone, wherever you are. We are saying, come alive, wherever you are. Come alive, come alive, come alive. Any dead situation in your life, any sickness in your body, we speak your body. We, we bring your body out of obscurity in the name of Jesus. We are saying, come alive, come alive. Let your dreams come alive in the name of Jesus. Let your dreams come alive in the name of Jesus. Oh, come alive, come alive. Come alive, Oriande re baba mama mama handu robo sete re kayando robo shende re kye baba baba. Any dead situation around you, any impossible situation around you. Oh, Father, we speak life. We speak life. We speak life. God said to Ezekiel in the valley of the dry bones. He spoke to them. He spoke to the bones. He says, "Come alive." Oh, Rabba shende re baba baba. Come alive, come alive, come alive, dry bones. Come alive, come alive, come alive, dry bones. Awake, arise, inhale the light. Oh, come alive, come alive, come alive, dry bones. Oh, come alive, come alive. I'm alive, dry bones. You have to use the creative force of faith. You have to use the creative force of faith today in the mighty name of Jesus. Create the things you want to see in your life. Call forth your businesses out of obscurity. Call forth your health out of obscurity. Call forth your finances out of obscurity in the name of Jesus. You want to speak to it and say, come alive. Come alive, finances. Come alive, body. Come alive, relationships. Come Come alive, marriages. Come alive, body. Come alive. You will not die. You will live to declare the wonders of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Oh, come alive. Come alive. Come alive. Situation in the name of Jesus. Oh, come alive. Come alive. Oh, come alive. Come alive. Come alive. Dry bones. Oh, come alive. Come alive. Come alive. Dry bones. Awake, arise, inhale the light. Oh, come alive, come alive, come alive, dry bones. Oh, come alive, come alive, come alive, dry bones. I'm gonna sing to you, dry bones, until you're covered with light. And the valleys bloom like the road spurred in the light. Hear the call to attention. Feel the change in the air. For the ground is dry, but the clouds are overhead. Oh, we're going to sing again. We want to sing to these dry bones. Oh, come alive, come alive, 
come alive try touch that area of your body and begin to speak to it and say come alive come alive come alive kidneys come alive lungs come alive hearts come alive oh brain come alive oh the limbs that are painful come alive my body come alive in the name of Jesus so oh, come alive come alive come alive dry bone oh come alive come alive come alive dry bone oh come alive come alive come alive dry bones awake arise in hell the light oh come alive come alive come alive dry bones are you waiting on heaven are you waiting on heaven heaven is waiting on you oh is it waiting on you for the Holy Ghost is already in the room. Ah, you're going to have to speak this morning. Oh, come alive, come alive, come alive, dry bones. Oh, come alive, come alive, come alive, dry bones. Oh, come alive, come alive, come alive, dry bones. Away, arise. In hell alive. Oh, come alive, come alive, come alive, dry bones. Oh, come alive, come alive, come alive, dry bones. Oh, those bones are awake now. They are becoming a mighty, a mighty army in the presence of God. That body has received life. Those finances have received life. Oh, that relationship has received light this morning. Oh, anything you've been believing or your business has received light. The light of God is shining brighter upon your business. You will testify. End of this year, you will say, indeed, the light of God has shone brighter and brighter in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Come to the end of our service. Amen. When we share the grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever amen amen god bless you all and we'll see you in our third service in just a few minutes praise god amen god bless you